Tammy Shannon right around the corner next on the Chris Top program. Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either the tech in the Chris Top program. I am the one and only Chris Top. The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from our lavish studio, home studio. I still mess that up. Here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. And it has been sunny and nice out here lately. I know two days ago, it was, I think, 80 degrees, over 80 degrees. In the last couple days, it's been pretty sunny and warm. I haven't even been out today. What's it like outside right now? It's pretty good outside. Like, it's it's not too hot and it's not too cold. It is just right. Just right. And my cat is in my seat. Oh, yeah. So you weren't here, so Abby became the new Well, when you got to go, you got to go. While you were going. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this coffee is amazing, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate you and your coffee abilities. And Abby is bitching, like, hardcore. She did not want to be moved. Do you love me, Abby? <laughs> she didn't say anything. Silent treatment. She's giving you the silence because you kicked her out of her seat. I thought we were going to have a moment where she just went, Meow! No, no, no. She loves us. She kind of loves us. Yeah. <laughs> when it, when it's convenient for her. <laughs> Whenever I'm sitting in the recliner at night, and she's uh, she always like sits beside me like right on my right arm. Like every time. It's like I know exactly how to position my arm, and then she just sits there. She's she's like a very routine cat, and I feel like she's kind of needy for a cat. Like, I realized that the other day when, uh, you know, Maggie just doesn't hang out with us as much. No, but she just totally ignores us. That's normal for a cat, and, and she has more dog-like qualities than a cat. Like, you know, she bitches more than a dog would, but she's she's very needy. Like, if she went outside... I like that. I like the fact that she wants to hang out with us. She's kind of the Norman Bates of cats. No, I wouldn't compare her to Norman Bates. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I mean, she likes to hang out. I like that. I don't like, I mean, it, what's the use in having a pet if she never hangs out in the room with you? That's true. So I don't know what we're going to do with Maggie. I hope she's not pregnant. Yeah, me too. <laughs> she got out the other day. And yeah, I'm scared, man. Uh, we got it. We, we were supposed to get her spayed and then we've just been putting it off and mm-hmm. we need to because she's just annoying when it's that time. Meow, meow, yeah. meow. Shut like up. Like for three days straight, it's just nonstop. And More than three days. Yeah. It's it like, seems like it. And then like you turn right around and she's ready to go again. Yeah. It's just kind of crazy. So we got we to take care of that. Yeah, before we have a little, a bunch of little Maggies running around. Everywhere. Yeah. One is plenty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> one is more than enough. More than enough. Yeah, so we're about two shows out of 30 so far. 30 shows? Yeah, at least today. We're not doing them 30 shows. Something like that. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so we're still running a little bit behind. We're still trying to get caught up. So we're going to give uh, Tammy Shannon a call just here in just a minute. I think you're going to like Tammy. She's got this um, sultry, jazzy, smooth kind of thing going Ooh, on. smooth. Yeah, so I think, I think you'll appreciate what she does. I do. I do. Did you ever think you could afford an interior designer? No, way too expensive. Besides, I've got style. If you had style, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Ouch. Interior designers are for rich people. Magnolia Emporium. Magnolia Aquarium? Is that like for some crazy flower fish? No, Magnolia Emporium. Randy's clients range from nurses and teachers to musicians, actors, and even some royalty thrown in there. Oh, I'd be on the royalty side. You really don't have any swag, do you? No. No, I don't. 
That's where Randy comes in. He listens to exactly what you want, whether it's spoken or unspoken. Okay, if you mean he can read my mind, there's lots of things I don't want Randy to know. No, he has a great feel for what he does. Okay, where can I find Magnolia Emporium? Just go to magnoliaemporium.com. We want your space to reflect your success. Working on being awesome, it's a lifestyle. I probably had my first vision relating to the Waba Awards when I was about five years old. Dude, you couldn't even tie your shoes when you were five. Throughout life, I learned to step from the closet and embrace the light of my dork hood. You were just tired of those mean girls taking your milk money every day. In a way, I feel like it's my destiny as the self-proclaimed leader of all dorks to bring every single adorkable person together in one place to celebrate dorkhood. It is your destiny. It's my destiny. Okay, would you get on with it? People who listen to the show really get it. They understand everybody's a dork, but only a few are daring enough to admit it. The Waba Awards 2015 on The Chris Top Program. The Waba Awards ceremony will start at 8 p.m. June the 13th. That's right, an actual ceremony. Did I mention the red carpet? Okay, I had to Thanks stop that. Thanks to Magnolia like Emporium, we will be taking lots of But it was so cool. I had to listen to the first part and of it. After the awards. <laughs> I had to listen to the first part. Winners will receive an actual so Waba cool. Award, and, and an official The Chris Top Program run. shirt, and a it gift is, bag is, from Cast Owen Downs I mean, and I Magnolia made, Emporium full of amazing skincare products. Lucky listeners. It is your destiny. All right, we still got to call Tammy. We'll be right back. All right. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? My name is Dorcas Maximus, commander of the Dorks of the North, general of the Dork Legions, loyal servant to the true emperor, Dork Veda. And I will have my vengeance. Dorks of the world, unite! We do not nor will we take any of you for granted ever because there's a million other things you could be doing. But guess what? You chose to listen to us. Makes us feel pretty darn good. It really, really does. It sure does. So does it make you feel good? It makes. It does. I, I don't just say there, that. I, I mean it. I mean, and, and there are things that you can do while you listen to the Chris Stop program. Mm-hmm. So you can kind of multitask. Like what? Like, like synchronized can, swimming or what? You can No. I mean, you can, you can, you can do housework. And you yeah, can, you can you clean. You can ride a bike. You can run. You can just lay in the bed and stare at the ceiling. You can listen to it while you're working. I'm yep. just kidding. You can't really. Yeah. You can listen to it while it. you watch intense television. You could. You could just mute it and then play the Kristoff <laughs> program over it. We should listen to the Kristoff program when we watch The Walking Dead. That way it won't give us a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. There we Possibly. go. Possibly. <laughs> so, Tammy, Shannon, how are you doing today? I am doing great. How are you guys? Doing one. It's, it is so good to finally We're talk to you. doing fabulous. I feel, I feel like we've been, we've been Facebook buddies for a while. It, we have. Yeah. We have. It's nice to actually speak to you guys. Yeah. And, you know, I, I get tired sometimes of stalking your page, so it's nice to have you on <laughs> on Skype and hanging out. Yeah. So, so how – I don't want to just ask you, like, the regular old questions, like, you know, how long have you been singing? We're going to touch, you know, on that stuff um, for sure during the interview, but okay. we want to kind of get to know you, too. Because people can go to your Twitter and your and you know your social networks and stuff and find out everything they want to know about your music, but I mean you know I I just want to know who you are. So so let's start with this one. Okay, you, are you prepared? I'm ready. Are Be you ready? Prepared. Okay, okay. So can you do you cook? Are you a cook? Oh my gosh, that is the worst question you could ask. <laughs> Yay! Yes. Yay! We just asked you no no. And my schedule doesn't really allow me. I love to cook. I yeah. just don't have the time. So I, I don't really cook much anymore. So how do you, I mean, cause I know you have a busy lifestyle. I know, I, I know that. So how do you find time? And, and you're, you're obviously a fit person. So, I mean, how do you find time to eat healthy? Are you one of those people that I can eat anything and I still look good? <laughs> mm-hmm. I wish I, I do have a fast metabolism, but um, I eat at places that I can get good food. And what's really nice is most of the places when I have meetings, we're usually eating. 
Mm-hmm. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, but it's just choice. You just have to find places that have good food that, you know, to try and stay healthy. Mm-hmm. So if I tell you, if I set up a business meeting, I did that in quotations with you sometime, would you pay for my lunch if we did that? Or I, I do that a lot. Actually. Oh, sweet. You're asking the lady <laughs> to pay for lunch. So, says, I think he's asking me to so, take him to lunch. So we need to set up a business meeting. I, in. This is in, this is equal I'll rights at its finest. <laughs> you asking the lady to, to pay. Are you going to come see us at the CMA Fest? Are you going to come by and say hi or what? I am. I plan on it. I plan on coming by. Well, you better. Sweet. If you don't, I'm going to be hacked off at you. I got to be. I got to be real. <laughs> I do plan to come by, so I'm excited about that. Well, good. We'll get to meet you. Maybe we'll get you a T-shirt or something. Yeah. Love it. You can, you can sport the T-shirt and be I like. I would wear it proudly. Sweet. Take a picture of it on the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like Share a bow. Facebook. I bet she's got some red red carpet attire that she could wear. Well, I bet she does. I bet, I bet Tammy's got some bling. I bet she does. She seems like that kind of person so that I, would just I, walk about with their bling. Yeah, I think I saw a picture of you with, um, you were like getting ready for some Oscar party or something. Was yes, that Yes, I was. I was yeah. getting ready for an Oscar party, and I just sort of shared that. We had mm-hmm. so much fun that evening. We had a great time. Well, See, my we dog just... stole the show with her picture. <laughs> See, she had to be in the picture too. Oh, I don't think oh. I. Oh, would you? I didn't. See, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I just did. saw you looking all pretty in your dress and everything. Well, thank you. Yeah. So we just sit around in our boxer shorts and watch the Oscars. That's. <laughs> we'll eat some, we'll eat some Cheetos. That's I love the best it. view in the house. <laughs> oh, right? that too much info. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, how often do you get a chance to follow your passion and get out there and sing? Oh my gosh. Um, I sing all the time, but to actually sing right now, I'm actually, I've already started working on my second album. That's exciting. While we're promoting the first album mm-hmm. and, um, I'm in the, in the, uh, process of setting up some regular, um, singing opportunities. So that's what I'm do working on right now. And I'm being a little, not really picky about it, but there are certain places that, um, I want to play and mm-hmm. those are the places I'm sort of kind of holding out for, if you know what I mean. Sure. Mm-hmm. Now, have you been out to BB Kings or do you ever, have you ever sung there? I have not. And that's one of the places I'm working on. I want to yeah. sing at BB Kings and, and Bourbon Street Blues. Um, and I've got a few other places that I'm really looking at doing on a regular basis. So those are the things I'm working on first before yeah. I commit to other things. And those are good decisions for you, I think, with with the with your style. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Mm-hmm. But I I have some other uh, locations in different cities, New Orleans and Chicago, and some other places that that I've been contacted mm-hmm. through. So we're we're looking at a lot of different things. But while I'm while my producer and everybody's sort of looking at what's best for me. I'm starting and working on my second album. Okay, so and you're just totally staying busy then, and yeah, like a bow. Yeah. You know, and when I when I listen to what you're doing, um, I, I feel like, and you're doing a great job, Thank and you. and I feel like you're taking one of the less traveled traveled paths. Um, you know, I'm you're not taking a love. It's a it's a love for me. It's just music that all of those icons are they're passing away. Mm-hmm. They're you know, they're going away. That music, that whole genre is going to go away if someone doesn't carry the torch. Sure. That's and and right. that's, yeah. And you, you're following, I guess, your passion as opposed to marketability. Is that a word? Marketability. Yeah, you yeah. could Marketable? say that. Yeah. Something, going something. against the grain a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but see, I love, I love what you're doing. And I would definitely buy the CDs. And there, and mm-hmm. there are still several artists out there that do this kind of stuff. And, mm-hmm. and then there's always room for more. And, and you're always looking for that one that's really going to take this genre to, to the next level. Because, I mean, you've got like, um, your Michael Bublé and Michael people Bublé? like that that'll mm. that'll jump out there and he'll Michael he'll have Bublé's the occasional dream. amazing love yeah, him love him too and he'll have the the occasional you know top top ten hit but it doesn't it doesn't happen that often ooh, 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 yeah. do you watch those Michael Bublé Christmas specials every year I do oh, I missed the last two I missed the last two and oh. it's like 
Like, I recorded it, but then, like, stuff got all busy and I didn't get to watch it. Aww. But he is so freaking dreamy, is he, he not? He's so, he's so talented. He and Harry Connick Jr. Mm, yeah. I love those guys. And, and and they look so happy when they're performing. I it's know. Like, they do it. It is, it is the love of their life uh-huh. to me when they're out there playing and singing. It is, you just look at them. And they're so excited. They're so into it. And that that's what you should do every time. It's not necessarily everybody wants to make money. But if you're doing something you love and you help enough people get what they want, yeah. the money comes to you. Mm-hmm. And I mean, and people can tell like, like when you're that happy on stage doing yeah. what you're doing, you know, people see that and they get they excited. Do. Even if they're not singers, they get excited. Yep. They do. They feel that. Mm-hmm. And that's what makes them want to come back and see you again is, okay, I felt really good when I was there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we would love to come and see you. I mean, I, I, th- there's two visions I have. Um, one would be like at B.B. <laughs> King's when there's just a ton of people there and mm-hmm. lots of electricity in the air. And the other would be like one of those little subtle, quaint kind of piano bar situations. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, is that is that the kind of stuff you're shooting for? It is. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm shooting for. Yeah, and and do you have anything lined up in, in the near future, or is that still something you're working on? I am. I was actually approached by someone locally to do some um, unplugged, if you will, acoustic style. Those are some of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mine yeah. too, and they had no idea that I love that type of thing. Mm-hmm. Which is why I have the cello and and the acoustics and all of those things inside my band. So I'm excited, but I'm looking at some April, May, and June dates for nice. some things like that that I really want to do because I love that style of music and it really gives you a chance to be yourself, mm-hmm. but bring out sort of the the. What I like to see is the best in your music because vocally they can literally hear the lyrics and you're not drowned out in, in this powerful music. Yes, I agree. I love the writer's rounds and things like that. Whenever, I do too. whenever those pop up, we're, we, you know, we, we try to go for sure. So what I was getting at was, you know, so when, when, when you perform again in Nashville, you got to let us know because we want to come see I you. I will. Don't forget. I, w- I will. I'll I know you get busy. I'll actually start posting the dates. Once I have committed to some of those, and I'm actually starting to commit to some of those now, so you'll start cool. seeing those pop up. Because we're tight now, right? Yes. Right? We're good, We right? are very tight. Okay, like so sweet. so don't let me down. <laughs> don't. I love it. Okay. Now, okay, now we want to make sure we play your music. I could talk to you all day long, but we want to get these songs in for sure. Um, made Up Mind. Mm-hmm. All right, now where did this come from? Did you write all of these or co-write? I, or I wrote every word. Every word to all three of these songs? Yes, I did. Oh, so where did Made Up Mind come from? Oh, my goodness. Wow. I wasn't expecting that question, mm-hmm. but... Um, I like to throw in the curveballs. from a place. Yeah. I think we've all had relationships that didn't really go like we anticipated and we're we're torn we still love that person but we know that that's we can't stay in this position anymore right and made up mind was this turmoil inside me where it was go or stay and one day i sat down and wrote that song because i had made up my mind that that was it i was going to leave that committed relationship i just couldn't manage that anymore and that's Mm -hmm. where that came from how beautiful is that because you used your passion as therapy Mm -hmm. to get through that that is cool this whole album came by sort of an accident Mm -hmm. i went into the studio i thought i was going to use it for therapy since Mm -hmm. you bring that up Mm -hmm. i was going to do three songs and uh the owner of the studio heard me and said who is that you know, and he, he came out and introduced himself, and, and he said, what else do you have? And I sat down, and I played for him and, and was singing the songs, and he said, oh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to do a whole album. Oh. So that's how the whole album came about. Mm-hmm. That's got to make you feel good. That's it really does cool. Feel good. Yeah, see, we want to see you live like tonight. So yeah. get something lined right up. Now. <laughs> get something I lined up. I wish I was playing tonight. I would have you guys come. Well, I'm actually kidding because we got shows until eight, but tomorrow night. <laughs> True. Okay. I know. So, <laughs> so made up mind, Tammy Shannon on the Chris Top program. I 
I've been here when you felt alone And how I made it through all the stones you've thrown I heard the thunder on the lightning strike I'll bark no bite Now a broken heart is all I know I can't get past it, I know it shows What you gonna do now my love is gone And your excuses have no home The doctor said here's your sign Don't waste precious time Gotta leave it all behind Through all of the heartache And all of the pain The countless excuses you when you said it's all your fault with wounds this deep every word's like salt we both know you're in pain it's time to stop playing playing you've cut me down to the bone my heart's turned to stone gotta leave Sometimes you just got to make up your mind and move on, right? That's I guess that's what that's about. I mean, what a good message for anybody that's going through what you were going through. I mean, you're you're a good example, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, I for, hope so. Yeah, I mean, and people need to hear that. It's important, I think, for people to understand that they're not alone in those kinds of situations. Yeah, and that's the <clears> toughest <throat> part is when you do feel alone. Yeah, can I get personal with you for a second? Sure. And if, if, if I say anything out of line, just be like, Chris, shut up, and, <laughs> I'll, and I'll move yeah. on. Yeah, we no, have okay. to tell him that a lot. Yeah, because so we're, just... tight, we're tight enough where you can tell me to shut up. We're good. Sure. <laughs> so, so how did that go after you wrote that song, you got your therapy through the music, and then you had to face him and let him know how you felt? How, I mean, how did that go down? That was really difficult, and there were <clears> some <throat> really ugly moments. Mm-hmm. But um, we, we tried to be friendly after that. And, you know, it, it, you just, 
it's tough. You wish each other the best and you move on and you don't do it with an angry tone. And I, I have no anger in my heart at all. Mm-hmm. And it, it's, it's been a bittersweet blessing, so to speak. Sure. For both of us. You know, I, I just had a thought. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, talented people like yourself, you, you use this as therapy and it gets you through the moment, but mm-hmm. but then you have this song that lingers around for the rest of your life, and mm-hmm. it always brings it back. And I mean, and then people like me will come around and ask questions. Uh-huh. So I mean, you, you've got you've got cojones, you know, you know to be I, able to put I, this out yeah, there yeah, like you're that. You're putting like your yeah, own heart out a, there. That's yeah. a really good um, thing to say, just because it does sort of seem that way. Mm-hmm. But what really happens is during the writing process. And the creative process, there were lots of tears. Sure. I, I don't know how many tears I cried while I wrote that song. And um, as I was in the, even in production and in the studio, I had to stop and take breaks because I just couldn't get through it. Mm-hmm. But after you sort of purge yourself and you allow yourself and give yourself permission to cry and grieve about yeah. it. Then when you talk to people like you guys and we're having a conversation about it, I'm no longer emotionally attached to it, Mm -hmm. even though I still remember it, but I remember it more fondly than Mm, the pain. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense. So, I mean, I guess good therapy provides closure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. No question. And everybody needs therapy sometimes. Oh, I need it all the time. <laughs> right? Because we the need help. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but it's good that you have that because you can just, you can sit down, you can, you can write and you can just mm-hmm. put it it's out It's using there. opportunities like that to create something positive and hopefully someone somewhere can use that song to a benefit and know that they're not by themselves at those moments too. Sure, sure. So we, we may just come over and like lay on your couch and talk to you sometime. You know, you that can be our therapist. Great. Yeah. Uh, you'll have to work us in. Because we can't sing, so right. we can't go down Right. Down. You'll have to work <laughs> us into your, into your schedule, though, and, and maybe bake some cookies or something. Yeah. Chocolate chip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're asking a lot, I think. We right? are, yeah. <laughs> That's too uh, funny. Now, okay, so I want to stalk you, so how do I find you online? Oh, gosh. Um, I have... A social media. I have Facebook, which is T Shay mm-hmm. Music mm-hmm. or T Shay, and you will see the cover of my album, me with a ba- red background in okay. there, and you'll know that's me. You can also find me through uh, Tammy Shannon. Uh huh. And I'm, I'm linked that way as well. And I can't remember all of them. <laughs> now, I, if, if, <laughs> if somebody wants to purchase your music, uh, is, it, is it for sale yet, or have you gotten that far? We are about three weeks out. Mm-hmm. What we are going to do is we're going to release two uh, singles, and then we'll release the album. Okay. So uh, Sweet Love and Woman is going to be released in the next couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. And then um, we, we're we debating on the second one. It's either going to be All About You mm-hmm. or Made Up Mind. I think, I think, ooh. This is stuff. Sweet Love and Woman's my favorite. It's just, it's just hot. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those oh, hot. Yeah. It's one of those hot songs. It's like, Ow. yeah, you go into BB Kings, you got, you got T. Shea up there singing Sweet Love and Woman. You're like, oh my god, I'm in love with her. You know, one of those <laughs> kind of things. So, I, love <clears throat> I would, I think that's the best one, and I, I would think that definitely needs to come first. Mm-hmm. And it is coming uh, first, so I'm very excited about that. I love that song. Yeah, I do too. And we're going to play that, that one last. Song. I saved it for last today. Well, thank Spoilers. you. Yeah. So I just, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Now we've got uh, All About You that we're going to play next. But before mm-hmm. we get to that, I do want to ask you this. If, if you could have any superhero power, what would that power be? Gosh. Um, I'd like the power to heal people. Hmm. Okay, and I'm and, not talking about necessarily cuts. I'm talking about the things you don't see. I think uh, everybody walks around with scars. Sure. And it would just true. be nice to have somebody that could see that and go, you know, and remove it. Mm-hmm. 
You did yeah. ask. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's great. That was a deep that's answer. great. And you know, and I think it takes a, a certain kind of person to see that in people too, because we're it's so easy for us, I think, these days to to ignore those types of scars, even though there yeah. there are definite signs out there that they exist. Mm -hmm. But you know, Absolutely. we get greedy. We want our lives to be easy, and we ignore it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. But you know, everybody has something. Everybody has something going yeah. on, and it's it's you know, you just have to. Um, Instead of saying in the South, we say bless their heart, mm -hmm. you know, it'd be nice to just kind of be able to fix it. But I don't have that power, but I'd like to. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, sometimes all we, all we can do is listen to people mm -hmm. and that's, that's all true. it takes. That's right. So maybe, that's maybe you do have that power. I doubt it, but hey, <laughs> I was going to say though, I mean, that's a, that's a thing. Like, um, Chris was right. Like a lot of people. Um, I mean, even me, like everybody, like sometimes we'll see the things and, you know, we mm -hmm. we're, it's a happy day. We don't want to face the things that are, you know, uh, sad or, or, or darker. I mean, yeah, like, because we don't have time in our own yeah, lives. We don't have time yeah. and, and we just, you know, we don't, we don't want that burden, but just listening to somebody and yeah. being there for them is a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. taking a minute, just give them a minute. It, it can change a life. Yep. It so, can. all right. So here we go. All about you. Okay. Tammy Shannon. Oh, Tisha. <laughs> you gotta say you gotta be smooth, Chris. I wish I. I wish I sounded like Antonio Banderas. Mr. Top. When You've got to be. <laughs> Mr. Top. You've got to be smooth. <laughs> Antonio Banderas. All Is that right? You, all about you, Tisha on the Chris Top How about that? Is that better? I don't know. You know. You know. You know. You know. You know. You got it. You've got my heart wrapped up in a bow. I never knew love at first sight really existed And those who did were sick or twisted I give in, no longer resisted My stolen heart keeps insisting It's all about
You know, I meant to mention this um, on Made Up Mind, but I kind of felt a little bit in, in that song as well. But there's a little bit of Janis Joplin in you, too, Tisha. Oh, well, thank you. I love her. Yeah, yeah, she's good. I mean, but it's kind of like a Janis Joplin bluesy kind of thing yeah, going well, on. Yeah, thanks. That's a huge compliment. Yeah. But, I mean, you sound like you. You don't You don't sound – I mean, there's just little hints of it in there. And I guess – I mean, oh. was she – was she an inspiration for you of any type? Or? I love her, but yeah. I, I I don't know. I've never – I don't try to sound like anybody but me, mm-hmm. but I love her. I love Bonnie Raitt, Aretha Franklin. Mm, mm, right, right. Just some of my favorites. And Natalie Cole, oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm. Absolutely. And, yeah, and you kind of – I could see you. I mean, who, who would be the artist that you would most want to open for? Oh my goodness, that's such a great question. I, Johnny Lang. Really, I love okay. him. Okay, so that's I good. Love and him. and what would be the stage that you'd want to open for him on? Oh my goodness! Like when your dream comes true, what's it going to be? Oh wow! Um, I know it sounds crazy. Out of all of the places, and you know, I can't, I can't not bring Nashville into it. Mm-hmm. I love the rhyme and the sound mm. there is incredible. Yes, it is. Just has incredible sound. So I would, I would, that would probably be a place I would Mm -hmm. like to, I'd like to sing there for sure. Yeah, it's just this great magical kind of a venue. It is. And and you really feel like you're in Nashville. I've been up there. It's incredible. Not just country music artists. I mean, I I took my daughter, I uh, I guess, there several years ago to see Regina Spector. And I mean, it was phenomenal concert. And like you said, Mm -hmm. and it's all up close and intimate, but it still can seat just a ton of people. It, um, I know yeah. what a what a magical place, really. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, all right. So we talked about your Twitter. We talked about how we can see you online, and we talked about um, your music is going to be available within the next couple of weeks, probably, mm-hmm. kind of, sort of. Um, okay. Now, I got an important question. I ask this. I ask everybody this on the show. Okay. Uh, so I'm not picking on you. Okay. Okay. So if you had five minutes to sit down with anybody, this could be anybody living. Dead doesn't matter, and you've only got five minutes. Who would it be? Mm, that that's an easy question for me. If I had five minutes or one minute that I could spend with my mother, that's who I would spend Aww. it with. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now is now is your mother still alive or is she gone? No, she passed away in two thousand. Mm-hmm. That's the she, my mother yeah. died that year as well. Um, it's terrible. Yeah. So what what happened with your mom? She was diagnosed with bladder cancer mm. um, two years prior, and it had come back in her colon, and she, her blood pressure shot up, and she passed away. She Aww. had a massive uh, aneurysm and passed away. It mm-hmm. was unbelievable. We just thought she was – I thought she could be invincible because mm-hmm. she had, you know, yeah. overcome cancer, and then it came back, and – was it was devastating, but she shared my music with me. Mm-hmm. That and it just made everything amazing. You know, she traveled with me and everything. So, so I what would that it. five minutes be about? Would it be just just oh being close to her, or would you have questions? I'm or? not even sure. I would talk. I mm-hmm. mean, I would just want to, you know, put my arms around her and just hold her for five minutes. You mm-hmm. know. Yeah. I don't know if conversation would even be appropriate at that moment. You sure. know what I mean? Sure. Okay. Well, that's good. That's mm. good. I mean, I you know, you never know what kind of answers you're going to get from yeah. uh, from people on that. So, uh, all right. So we've got one more song, and before we we play that, because when we come back, we're going to have to wrap it up pretty quick. But okay. I want to say that it's been an absolute pleasure um, hanging out with you and talking to you and getting to know you. Yeah. Oh, thank you, you're guys. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, you're an outstanding person. You are a little bit crazy, but that's okay. <laughs> There's a little bit of crazy in us. <laughs> hey, that's right. A little, little crazy in the best of us. Yeah. Um, okay, so sweet loving woman, did you do this just to just to woo the guys? I mean, is that um, the whole purpose of this song? I just thought it was funny. I wrote that song in 45 minutes. No, you didn't. I did. What? I did. I was I was walking around my house being silly and and. I was thinking of, you know, what is it that? <laughs> and I started singing into my recording device and was walking around and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to. So it just came together in 45 minutes and I sat down and that's what we got. <laughs> wow. Now, do you have a, a husband or a boyfriend? I I do not have either one. Oh, I, um, okay. Okay. Yeah. 
So I, I was married, and I, I am divorced. All right, so when you sing this song, do you get proposals? <laughs> I've a few. It's sort of it's cute, though. It's <laughs> really cute. <laughs> so she's, got, she's got all kinds of stalkers out there, then. Chris! I lied. I'm just saying. No, I'm Nobody's sick or crazy, but it's been really sweet. It's been really <laughs> so far. So okay, so I'm gonna get really. Pro- I mean, do you go out on dates and stuff, or are you are you know, are you, are you happy just being you right now? Since my divorce, okay. I I have um I have a lot of friends that I spend time with, and and that that it, and my music right now. I'm focusing. My daughter is a senior in high school, and I'm focusing on that mm-hmm. and and my music, and that's it. Well, and I mean, is I just, the, it, I are guys time for me. are guys going to have to understand? Are they going to have to understand that that your music is your first love, and that's just how it is? Or are you willing to put music in the back seat for the right guy? Um, I know this is going to sound. You probably think that I should put it on the back burner, but I, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my music, my music is first right now. My music is it. And and I, I totally I applaud you. To I do. applaud you for I, that. I've put everything else first mm-hmm. before my music, and now it's time for my music. I I can, I, I'm not worried about that. I mm-hmm. think love comes when it's meant to come, and anyone that loves me is going to understand that. All right, so sweet love and woman, T. Shea may be your sweet love and woman, but you're going to have to understand <laughs> you got to sit in the back seat when it comes to her music. <laughs> right? There we go. Are you a good man? Looking for a good woman Well, I'm gonna let you in on a secret Little attention goes a long, long way Listen up, boy, to what I say If you want a sweet
All right, so Allie, on a hotness factor of 1 to 10, how hot is that song? Ow! It's so hot up in here. I Thank can feel you, the Allie. fire. And so, um, yeah. I, yeah. I think she likes it. I think she likes the song. It was hot up in here. Thank you. I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> I'm sweating just a little bit. I have to wipe my brow. This is so hot up in here. I know, I know. It's a good song. It's a good song. It's really I mean, good even song. Even though it has, even though it has a good message, you mm-hmm. know, a man should tweet, treat the woman right. Yeah. Uh, for sure. Um, it's also baby making music. <laughs> Ew. On top of that, <laughs> bruh. I'm just, I'm I keeping it real. So. This is where we say, Chris, I hope shut so. up. <laughs> See, she <laughs> likes. She's, she knows what I'm talking about. Uh huh. All right, so it's been so much fun talking to you today, and I hope we get a chance sometime soon to come out and see you um, and see you perform even before we get to meet you at the uh, at the CMA Fest uh, in June. Yes. Uh, for sure. So just keep us posted, and whenever you have an event coming up or anything like that at all, uh, let me know. Tag me on Facebook, and I'll make sure I share it. You know I will. Yeah, we got, we got you. I love it. We Thank got you. you. Forever. You're in the family. <laughs> you're in the loop. Yeah, you're in the fam. Right, right. So, um, yeah. Okay, so I guess that's a show, but we're going to be back like in seven minutes. Right, right. Yeah, so so we're just busy, busy, busy today. Uh, so don't go too far. I mean, you can go fix a sandwich or something, come back, and make sure you tune into go the Chris Scott program. Yeah, if you have to do that. Um, Thank you so much for having me on the show. Oh, well, you're, you're welcome. Like I said, you're part of the family, so yeah. just any old time. Uh, okay, so that's it. So until we broadcast again, I want you to remember this. Life is good, and we're gone. <laughs> Things might be looking grim I guess it's time for an acronym Two, three, four W